Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ariadna. Thank you so much for joining. So today we're going to be doing a BTS album tier list. A little disclaimer before we start the video. Number one, no, I'm not doing this for clout. Um, I like BTS as you can see on my wall. So this is not clout wise. I've been standing them since 2016 because they're one of the groups that I like, I decided why not do an album to your list anyway. Number two, I'm going to be rating, not really, I'm going to be tier listing BTS's albums as a whole, like the group as a whole. I'm go also gonna be adding four, the four solos. I forgot one, but you know, the ones from Yoongi, Hoseok, and Namjoon. Disclaimer number three, this is solely my opinion on the albums. My opinion might not be the same as yours. And I'm just saying because I don't want you guys being in the comments like, oh my God, you don't like this album. Oh my God, how could you? Like, I'm just so offended. It's okay. I'm rating them, but that doesn't mean that the albums are bad, okay? My opinion is valid. Your opinion is valid. We're all in a happy place, okay? Let's just, let's not fight, please. Anyways, disclaimer numero cuatro, number four. This is no hate towards BTS. BTS makes very good music albums. If one of the albums is at the bottom of the tier, that does not mean that I don't like this song. That's just a little bit of disclaimers, you know, before we get started. Some questions that you may be asking. So number one, my bias is Kim Namjoon. <laughs> He's one of my ults, uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't like any other member. I love all of them as a group. I think they're really talented. You know, I love their personalities. I love everything about them. So, but Namjoon is my BTS bias. Number two is when have I started standing BTS? I would say late 2016 is when I started standing them um, during Blood, Sweat and Tears era towards the end. Uh, my first comeback was, I believe it was Spring Day, you know, the album You Never Walk Alone. That was like the first album. So anyways, I'm getting too ahead and this intro is long. So I made the tier list already and let's just get into it, shall we? So I'm going to go over my tier list and why I named them and then we're going to we're gonna list them. So future editing Ariadna, please shrink me <laughs> a little, make me small and put me on this list. Anyways, <laughs> number one on the tier list, the very top is Unmatched, which means that personally, this album is like, is there, like it's my favorite album. Nothing can top this album. It's one of the best albums that BTS has ever produced and it's just chef's kiss. God's Gift is kind of similar to Unmatched, but basically it's like a no skip album. Is good, no skips, another chef's kiss. So if I had to put like these out of, as a rating, Unmatched would be like a thousand out of 10. <laughs> I'm joking. It's 10 out of 10. God's Gift would be nine out of 10. Blast This In My Car is like, you know, there's some there's some songs in this album that I just crank the radio until my speakers blow out. Rating 9.5 out of 10. The second to last is Chef's Kiss. So this album is good. I love it. There might be some skips in here, you know, maybe I'm not feeling it. Maybe like one day I'll be like, oh my God, I feel like listening to this album. And then the next I'll be like, mm, I feel like listening to something else. So rating 8 out of 10. Then the last tier is occasional listen. So this is similar to Chef's Kiss, but I have to be in the mood to be able to listen to this album or the songs in this album. That rating, 8.5 out of 10. We don't go lower than that, okay? Good music, nothing bad. But let's get started. I'm gonna go from the albums in order. So like from debut to now, I hope everything is on there because if not, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> anyways let's go with the first one which is too cool for school now this is their debut album and honestly it's good for a debut album uh you know you got your intro and you know you got their your skits i haven't seen many albums have skits now nowadays so you got your interludes you got your outros now 
one of my favorite songs is in this album, which is Like. <laughs> I love that song so much. I just, I just have so many memories of that song. But if I had to rate this, I would put it in Chef's Kiss. You know, there's good songs, but I have to be in the mood to listen to the entire album or some of the songs. Like, that's an unmatched. But anyways, I'm putting this album in Chef's Kiss. The next one is Oh Are You Late Too. So this is after their debut album. And this, we got we got classics on this song i mean classics you got coffee you got no you got attack on bantan oh my god and the outro okay and then you have if i were the world now tell me that that is not a classic i'm gonna put this in god's gift because there's just so many good songs on there. No skip album, literally. The next one we have is School Love Affair. Don't wanna say much on this one because we also have School Love Affair, but the special edition, which is one of my favorite albums. But anyways, if I had to rate, I'm gonna put these two together because they're basically the same, but one has, I think it's like Slow Jam, which is my favorite song, but Slow Jam but you just got a lot of good songs a lot of you know that old vibe of bts which i love a lot so i'm gonna put this to in unmatched now the big boy dark and wild now i feel like this is the era where bts were like bad boys they were like i don't even know how to explain it dude um okay let me Hold on, because this album is so freaking good. You got Danger, Let Me Know, Rain, Cypher 3. Now, when I tell you that this is one of BTS's best ciphers, I will say that till the day I die. BTS Cypher Part 3 is the best, one of the best BTS ciphers that BTS has ever made, bro. Unmatched unmatched let me stop before i get copyrighted <laughs> you got i'm gonna say this again one of bts's best outros Back to the rating. It's unmatched. I don't care what y'all say. This is a valid opinion. I love this album so much, dude. I don't even get me started. Like, best album, my favorite album, one of my favorite albums. But yeah, we go into what I believe is the peak of BTS's career. And then we also have Blood, Sweat, and Tears era. These three albums as a whole are just so freaking good. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all because it's so good. We have The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, part one. We have songs such as I Need You, Hold Me Tight, The Originals, Love Is Not Over, another good outro. We also have The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, part two, which has Run, Butterfly, Whaling, 52, and then Outro, House of Cards. No, this is another good outro. I just love BTS's outros. Let me just say that. If I had to rate these, number one and number two go together in Young Forever, which is this one. I can't say that I would put them together. I think I would put them together because they're just so unmatched. I don't listen to them separately because, I don't know, to me it makes no sense because the songs in these two parts are in Young Forever. So if I wanted to go to an individual part of the album, I would do it. So I want to put these two in occasional listen. Don't hate me, okay? It's not that it's bad or that I don't listen. It's because if I felt like it, I would go into these albums individually and just listen to them. But I don't because we have the full album, which is Young Forever. So Young Forever is unmatched.
<laughs> I think it's one of BTS's best albums, you know, that they produced as a whole, as a group. Just so many good songs and, you know, I think this was the rise of BTS. So the next one is Wings. You got Blood, Sweat and Tears and you also start to have the solos. The thing is that you have your original albums and then you have the repackage which is the original albums plus more songs so the repackage to wings is you never walk alone if you don't know they're just so good i really love i really love the solos i just feel like they put their heart and soul into these solos it's the first time that you get to see the members individually like how they can make their own music and give out their own message individually. I really like these two albums, but I'm gonna rate Wings as God's gift. So No Skip, amazing, I love it. And You Never Walk Alone is unmatched. Now, the reason why I put You Never Walk Alone as unmatched is because it's the first album that I ever bought from BTS. It's when I started standing them, so this was the first comeback that I ever experienced of BTS. So it has a very special place in my heart. This is the first album that I bought from BTS. I bought the... I forgot what version this is. If I remember, I'm gonna put it here. I love the concept photo. I also like the other version of this album. It's just so good. Now we're going into the Love Yourself saga. Now this saga is just so good. I'm gonna say so good a lot. It's just, I don't know, everything's so positive about BTS. There's nothing negative to say about them. This Love Yourself saga as a whole, so you got Love Yourself Her, Love Yourself Tear, and then Love Yourself Answer. It's a thing with BTS where each comeback, they just keep getting better and better and better, like a better version of themselves. So now Love Yourself Her, I'm gonna have to say it's God's gift. Um, a no skip album, they absolutely devoured they ate and left no crumbs in this album i'm gonna have to put this in god's gift along with love yourself tear putting it in god's gift because again similar to wings the repackage not really a repackage but love yourself answer has all the songs from love yourself her and love yourself tear so because of that I'm putting it in unmatched. You see that over there? <laughs> I actually went to one of their concerts, so I got to experience all the songs from Love Yourself Answer, which is another, again, similar to You Never Walk Alone. It has a very special place in my heart. Next is Map of the Soul Persona. She got a cute vibe. I, this is like my child, honestly. I, I love this album. I will cherish this album forever. It's just so nice. It has a nice vibe. It has one of my favorite songs, which is Home. So I'm gonna have to put this in God's gift. I'm not gonna put it on Unmatched. It's still a no skip album. Now, Map of the Soul 7. Now that is unmatched. Unmatched period. There's so much work that was put into this and it was just so good. Anyways, now Dynamite. I skipped a damn song. Okay, I realized that I missed a song, which is Permission to Dance. So now we have Dynamite. Now, this is a song that made BTS start to get even more famous. They went to the US, they did the Grammys, they did the American Music Awards. Now, don't hate me, but you know, I'm so used to BTS's old music that this one, it was new, it was different, it was good. But if I had to rate this, I would have to put it in occasional listen. That's just my opinion. I don't know. It's a good song. I would, if I'm in the mood, I'll listen to it. But I'm gonna put it there, so don't hate me. Now, the next one is B. Uh, this is another good album. It's like, when I heard this album, I was like, it just keeps getting better. Like I said, they keep getting better, 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 better. I'm gonna put this in, blast this in my car. So there might be some skips, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad album. It's just, in my opinion, there's some skips. But uh, this will be another blast me in my car. I feel like I've listened to this song 
so many times uh that doesn't mean that it's bad or like i hate it or anything but i will blast this in my car if it decides to shuffle in my spotify now i'm gonna leave proof for last but before that i remembered that I didn't put permission to dance, sorry. Editing Ariadna, please put permission to dance in Chef's Kiss. The reason why I put Chef's Kiss is it's, it's similar to butter. I've heard it so many times. I'm kind of tired of listening to it. It's still good, but I don't know. I feel like it was missing something. It's a very nice song. We're gonna go into the, the individual solos. So August D, J-Hope, and Namjoon. I forgot one of Namjoon's mixtapes, I think. So now the first one, August D. Disclaimer on the solos. For August D, I can't say that I listened to the whole album, okay? Um, I feel like if I had to give it a proper rating, I would give it Chef's Kiss. Now D2, that's a different story. I listened to that album maybe more than 500 times, unmatched. I feel like I'm in a gang or something or a masterpiece. So I wanna put this in, blast this in my car. Now, J-Hope's Hope World. Again, I listened to this 500 times, more than 500 times. It just has such a, a good vibe. J-Hope is just such a good artist, a good producer. And I really like the lyrics of his songs. So I'm gonna put this in God's gift. Now for the last one, Mono. I'm not gonna be biased. I love Namjoon with all my heart, so I don't want this to seem biased, but I feel like me and Namjoon like share a kind of a similar vibe, like chill down to earth kind of vibe. So when I listened to this album, I really felt like I connected with it in a way. So because of that, I'm gonna put it in Unmatched. Now, Unmatched in Chef's Kiss, because I feel like I have to be in the mood to really listen to the entire album but occasionally i do listen to this album so that leaves us with proof now i can't say that i'm gonna rate it because it didn't even come out when uh while i'm filming this which is may 11th i'm just gonna rate it off the top of my head yeah, but i think based on what i'm seeing from you know the teasers and everything i'm gonna put it in god's gift can't say it's unmatched yet because I haven't heard it, but I heard most of the songs, but there's some demo versions. I'm just really excited to listen to those. So that's my tier list. Maybe some of you guys agree with me. Maybe some of you don't. And that's okay because like I said before, we share different opinions. That's the tier list. I hope you liked it. It's kind of hard because I just made this off the whim and it was like, yeah. So maybe I don't think this will change. It's been the same for years but yeah really excited to hear bts's new comeback maybe they'll go on tour i'm so excited i just love bts i just love seeing them grow love seeing them improve a lot and i feel like they're really down to earth and they deserve the fame that they're having right now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you want to see another tier list you know on any other k-pop group and i'll make sure to do those so thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much. Bye-bye.